What up? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And look at you. You done stumbled upon little OTB Saints, where we bring you all the latest black and gold coverage. Who are the Saints going to draft? Who's going to be their quarterback? What does the salary cap look like? All that information and more. Hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe. Time for some spread lines with our guy, Holt Mayo. Another RB&R day today as well. And it's an RB&R day that takes place with a few things. Like we said, cold weather on the horizon. Halloween on the morrow. Uh, Larry Nance Jr. in spread quarters having great podcasts. The Pelicans 2-0 leading the West. And the New Orleans Saints behind an offensive explosion 4-4. Four and four. And on top of the NFC South. On this Monday, Dev, life feels pretty damn good. Yeah, life is good, man. So that's, that's all you can ask for is just a couple wins. Uh, and if the Pels play the play the Warriors tonight, that's a game you would think that the Pels would work lose. Not happening tonight, brother. Not on all being all day, but the Pels are winning tonight. Okay, we're gonna find out if they're on the beans or not. Again, go check out the sit down with Larry Nance Jr. in spread quarters. It's really fantastic. I thought it was pretty fascinating to hear him very openly talk about how much fun the beginning of last year was because normally players like are a bit like less committal than that. But yeah, when they were whooping everybody's ass and beating the Suns and everything, here's to hoping that tonight's game could be something like that as well. The only thing that remains untight appears to be Cox communications, Dev. We'll see how the connection is. We may have to call you on the phone. We'll see though. I don't want to get you too upset because we should be. I know, yeah. I know, I know, I know. It's all good. It's all good. But we should be excited. Bro, brother, hey, real quick. I just want to, I want to mention this real quick. Six years. Six <laughs> years. If you don't think that this company is the most criminal company in the state of Louisiana, don't look anywhere else. Because I done called them a million times. They done been done seen 20 different workers. Most criminal company in the state of Louisiana. And I don't want to go too far into it, but this is it. No, for I mean, sure. you got to hate a company, too, that, like, basically has a monopoly. And so you can't, like, you don't even have the choice of being like, oh, who's a competitor that I could go use? You can't um, get that ATT fiber, Bo? I don't think they have it in the world. They don't they they have it out here yeah. because the infrastructure is so bad and Cox won't take all that profit that they made all these years and put it into that. So we just got to deal with Cox. Cox, Cox is hold on the grass cut cutting guys just happen to be here too right now. But like what I'm saying is Cox has had enough money to fix this problem. They won't. What do they do instead? They come out with Cox Mobile. Hey, why don't you give us some more money? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's mobile now. So we can get you on that. Uh, um, man, why are my headphones sitting so weird? Uh, well, I'm sorry, Dad, but it's actually sounded a little better. So let's let's dive into yesterday's game. Uh, I, I don't know. When you man. start talking about it, it gets better. That's how it works. <laughs> Uh, but, Dev, I mean, yesterday's game, man, it's it's kind of a fascinating mixed bag, right, where I started very angry, and by the end of it, I'm very happy because everything worked. Red zone offense was great. Yeah. All the weapons were used in concert and in creative, exciting ways. People scored who you wanted to see score. You weren't just checking it down. You came up with yeah. chunk plays. You had another big play in the game. Like, what was – for? I want to start here because your new postgame show is killing it. Everybody loves calling it. It's very funny. And so I love getting the true temperature of the Houdat Nation. Uh, what what was the temp yesterday? Well, you know, I'm always excited no matter what because I'm a you know I'm just a fan. But I like and and I'm a very almost um, a fan, right? Because yeah. all I need to see is the Saints win. You know what I'm saying? And I'm mm-hmm. back in. And that's kind of how I was feeling yesterday after the game. And everybody that called him for the most part, like they still not sold on Derek Carr. Like, even after such a great game, his best game of the season, like hands down, they still not sold. Like they mm. want to see like two or three games in a row of it. Um, you know, and I don't like this, but it's also like I'm in the car. You know what I'm saying? Like we four and four, bro. Like I'm in the court, I'm in the car. We tied for first in the division. We about to play a bunch of backup quarterbacks. Um, you know, like this, we should be seven and four. When we go play, who is it? Uh, when we go play Detroit, we should be seven and four. That's, yeah. But you know how that goes with the Saints. You can't really like look at it on the schedule. Well, that's what I was going to say. Like, I'm not telling anyone that they should fall for it again. That the Saints are something going to be awesome now. And Derek Carr is going to be great. But like, if you can't sit back and enjoy yesterday, then what the hell are we doing this all for? Like, if, if you're still just going to be pissed off and angry after yesterday, well, then come on. You got to start to enjoy the journey a little bit. Like, yeah, if you're going to suffer the pain that comes with the bad Sundays, don't be afraid to lean in and let yourself feel good after the happy Sundays. 
Well, and then the mo like here's the thing for me, like you said in the beginning, like we use like the playmakers we know that we have, that's the ones that were scoring. That's the ones that were getting yeah. the ball. Taysom Hill came in there with a with a hammer, like Thor. Went into Lucas Oil with a hammer, put it over his head and slammed it on the ground and demanded respect uh, uh, and appreciation, bro. And and that's what you want to see. Like I saw when I saw Taysom get that two-yard run touchdown, I was like in my head, I was like, bro, the Saints are gonna win this game because these are the things that happen when the Saints win. Like Taysom just yeah. is going off. Well, it's all about how, how they use the Camara angle route too. For me, that was that moment. Yeah, I mean that's part of it too. Like how how are they utilizing the players that they have? Like utilizing Alvin Kamara on an angle route. Like that's what he does really well. But you don't see it very often. Using Taysom in the right way. Like he does a lot of things really well, but you typically don't use him in the right way. And so I thought yesterday was like the perfect example, Deb, of what this team could be if they stay consistent with who they are. And the offense was flowing, man. Like you can't, like if it's ever a game to say, man, you know, thank you, Pete. It, yeah. it had to be yesterday because, I mean, the offense was flowing. There was really no uncertainty. Um, you know, everything was kind of happening. And even the things uh, looked good, you know. Like they even tried to throw the slant. I recall still can't throw the slant, but we still, <laughs> we tried. We tried. Yeah, they at, least, they at so, least went for it. Uh, yeah, great, so I mean, I can't complain, man. Can't complain. Great, Gray Bear says uh, nine and eight, and it's like okay, maybe nine eight, but nine eight win the South. And you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. I'll take an NFC South division title whenever you can get an NFC South division title. And uh, the one thing I'm a little nervous about, boys, how do we feel about Heineke playing for the Falcons now? Uh, if, if he becomes a starter, because I've always felt like Heineke is. Uh, look, man, you can, you can, you can. Pfft, all you want, but like Heineke feels to me way better than Desmond Ritter. No, he is. He is. But, you know, it's also like, okay, you're going to bring in, what week are we in? We in week nine, and now you're starting to play Heineke. You can tell that like there's like no stability in that team as far as the quarterback. That's true. Um, I just think, I think the Saints, like what's showing right now is how the other three teams in the division, like how they kind of lack at that quarterback position. And as of this week, we kind of trending upwards, you yeah. know, or you would hope, you know, you just need to see it a few more times um, from Derek Carr. But, dude, I mean, you know, the, the deep ball to Shahid, bro, like we needed that 58-yard touchdown, uh, you know, like we needed life support. It was just – it was – that was what you wanted to see as a fan. Uh, Jake, what was your favorite takeaway from the Saints game yesterday? There was no check down Charlie or check uh, down Derek as we know it. Mm -hmm. uh, over 11 yards per attempt, Deb. I mean, that was a big story in the game for me because like we saw against the Jags, it was hit the back foot, throw the check down. And there was a couple of completions early to Kamara. I'm like, oh man, don't fall back into this. But no, they actually pushed the ball down the field. That, Like if the Saints want to be the team that they can be, they have to do that. They have the weapons. You've got one of the fastest players in the NFL – You've got a first-round receiver in Alave that can run any route, and you've got a possession receiver in Michael Thomas. You have everything that you have to have to be able to have a full route tree on every play, but your quarterback has to be able to go out there and take those chances. Yeah, <clears throat> and the O-line played good, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, dude. I mean, let's roll, bro. Like, you played a bad – you showed a bad last night, bro. Like, you don't win that game. You can't be losing the Bears. You know, I – yeah, you don't win that game at home. That's another thing. The Dome needs, like, I feel like the Superdome has heard enough criticism about the type of music they play and this Abercrombie and Fitch stuff. You know, um, it's just not the vibe It hasn't been there. I feel like when we come back this next week, the vibe's going to change. It's going to be better. I mean, you can't mess this up, bro. You, you play Louisiana uh, rap music, and, you know, it's not hard. Yeah. You know, you just – you got to make the environment – feel a little better bro, so where the people can get into it i know the saints were kicking a lot of field goals and stuff like that so that kind of that always hurts de determines it yeah yeah but i mean we back wow just amazing black and gold takes right there jake i don't think i've ever heard any takes that are better than the two guys that just gave you that take and you can keep getting them by going ahead and liking subscribing ringing the bell to get notifications when we post have a great day we'll see you on the next otb saints